<laughs> so we woke up this morning to some cleaning because, um, yeah, we have to clean. And I'm not going to be doing it by myself because these kids are old enough to know better. These kids have to dance. They can't control themselves. And if you go on TikTok, everybody doing hips. Even me. Hips. 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 But, um, yeah, so we're just going to be doing some cleaning. I went in the kitchen, y'all. Let me tell y'all something. I went in the kitchen to dance and do dishes. The nastiest thing happened. I was washing the dishes and that thing, I bought the soap thing, fell in the sink. And when I tell you it was disgusting, I don't know if this is mildew. I don't know if it's soap residue, but I was a Hold. So I threw the whole thing in the garbage. That was disgusting. Don't ever buy that. By the way, I hate doing dishes. Doing dishes and taking out the trash is not my thing. So there is a method to my madness. I wash all the dishes first and then I rinse them after. If I don't have some type of method, I will never... Nobody hates doing dishes more than me. I'm about to start buying plastic everything. So we all chipped in. We all cleaned the house. We all got it together. Kaisha called herself cleaning the room. I came in. Sis was on her phone. Like, what it? And then she want to get up and act like she was cleaning the room. Like she wasn't just on her phone when I opened up the door. But yeah, you slept in it, hoe. You get it together. This guy is the Mr. Softy truck. I cook dinner, but dinner is still in the oven. So I don't want to let them starve until dinner comes. So I'm getting them some vegetable delight. He hit an ice cream truck. So he's going through his pocket to see how much money he got. I got uh, ice cream is four dollars now. I'm sorry. It's stuck in your pocket. Never mind, you got it. So both of them have a dollar. Oh, he has a penny actually. And one ice cream from Mr. Softy is four dollars. So I don't know what he's getting. Uh, how much you got, baby? them over i got them veggie delight it's just like some vegetables and some sauce this is the one that i had i've been nibbling on it ever since now my stomach is on fire but i'm making some food hear that. so this is my big chicken i have a whole chicken i poked some holes in it you're gonna want to do that so the seasoning could seep through always poke your holes in the breast don't forget that I seasoned it with some kicking chicken, some all-purpose seasoning, well, total seasoning, onion powder, garlic powder, adobo, I'm coming, baby, and some sassoon. Um, I'm choking right now because I got broccoli in my mouth. Uh, major key, you should not be putting any water. I don't think y'all be listening to me. You should not be putting any water inside your chicken. You just cover this. It makes its own juice, its own water. Let it cook in its own juices. You don't need no added water. We're just going to put the foil over this, and I'm going to show y'all when it come out. The baked chicken is done. It tastes absolutely amazing. And with it, I made a cucumber salad. I just put some cucumbers, some onions, and some tomatoes. I feel like that's what my stomach can hold. My stomach doesn't do good with lettuce at all, so I don't eat lettuce. This is my plate portions. I have some baked chicken, some of the cucumber salad, and broccoli. This is what the kids had to eat. You ate the whole thing? Yes. yes. Always pop Okay, guys. So now that we're done cooking, me and Kaisha have errands to work. Stop doing that. Stop doing that. I had a cucumber salad with raw onions because that's what I like. Yeah, because that's what my stomach is. It tastes so I just came from Staples. Um, bitches will kill your whole vibe, honestly. Sure. It's all about positive energy. Sure. And sometimes people not get energy off. But and you, you gotta let reclaim you tell it. it. You gotta reclaim it. Let you tell it. I know. What? I said let you tell it. Alright, what's what, what's up with your energy? 
Your yeah, energy is shifted and it's affecting me and I don't appreciate it. It's affecting you. What happened to you? You love you too, babe. So some I'm fine ass stud does. was looking at my butt. And I was about to get in my number. Now that's not what happened. But anyway, we getting food? No, we going to the notary you said? How will we get food at 1245? How will we get it at 1245? Smile my face when I'm hungry. Now we can go to the notary. Come on, let's go straight to the notary because I don't want and you. How you and how are we getting food at 1245? They take that home? Well. I don't know. You live there. Never been to this one. Babe, you don't always order from this Buffalo Wild Wings. Nasty, oh, so don't I come don't in because that's going to make my stomach Every hurt. time I come to Buffalo Wild Wings, I get the appetizer. It come with like nachos. It come with mozzarella sticks. It come with wings. It come with onion rings. And I can't eat any of those things. Like, even if I wanted to, because my mouth is watering for it, I will throw up everywhere. And why are you exiting? Oh, but what I can eat is like exiting? Egg, I said exiting. What I can eat is about two of Kaisha chicken wings. And that's a good thing. VSG, I thank you because you know what? When we go out to eat now, I just gotta get one meal. <laughs> a bite like a rat. And then it's over with. Over. <laughs> Feeding me has VSG's what it is. You get one meal for two. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm at Applebee's everywhere I go. Two for one. Shut up. Yeah. We're am going. I? Where am I? We're going what to get Buffalo Wild Wings, Wings now and eating while VSG. And I'm going to have two or whatever wings Kaisha gets, and I have my water that I have to drink 30 minutes later. The mental struggle is where I'm gonna shed a little tear when I see a mozzarella stick. But you know what? It's like, let me show y'all my body. I'm still real, 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 real fat, but my thing be thing is. You got it? Hold the camera, Peppa. Hold the oh. camera. Hold it. Get it. Hey. You recording me? They can see me? Oh, 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 oh. Tell them you recording me. Never knew that Buffalo Wild Wings sell cauliflower wings. I've never had it before, but it sounds bomb. Kaisha got chicken. I did the most, son. I really did the most. I got a bunless burger. That actually sat well with my stomach. So I just wanted to make sure I end the vlog off. I know it was super, super short, but I'm feeling a little sick. Not because the food y'all seen me eat earlier. I'm being as transparent with you guys as possible. When I say transparent, I'm telling y'all stuff that a lot of people with this surgery don't get up here and talk about because they're too embarrassed. So um, as you guys always know, they did surgery on my stomach, not my brain. I still crave everything I craved before. I still want everything I had before. I still feel like I'm starving sometimes. So I'm going to be honest about what happened. When I was inside of Buffalo Wild Wings, I ate that like maybe less than half of the burger. It sat good. Um, I was fine. By the time I got home, I felt like I was starving again. And although I probably wasn't hungry, it was probably head hunger. But I'm very new in this journey. I'm only three weeks in, so I'm still learning. And it's going to take me a while to learn the difference, especially when you have a food addiction like myself. So I ate because I thought that I was hungry because I genuinely felt like I was starving. So I had put some of the baked chicken and some of the salad, the cucumber salad in the plate. And I ate it, and that was all she wrote. I just started vomiting my life away. And the vomit is very different from a normal vomit because I'm vomiting up the food that my stomach couldn't digest. So it's like the food is going down and stopped right here and it came all the way back up because my stomach is too full so it can't hold anymore. Um, I'm going to say something that I probably will take back later. So I'm telling y'all, I, I just may take this back later on. I'm only three weeks out. So be open hearted when I say this. I'm very, I regret this surgery. As of right now, yes, three weeks in, that's how I feel. Will I feel differently down the line? Who knows? But, um... I wish that I would have worked on me more mentally before I decided to do this because nothing changes mentally. Nothing. Nothing changes mentally. The only thing is my stomach. Um, I have a hard time with taking in my water because I'm used to picking up a bottle of water and guzzling it back. 
that absolutely cannot happen some days i'm just so hungry and even though it may not be my stomach that's hungry it may be mine hunger but i feel like i am starving and you know how when you get when you so hangry and it's like sometimes i go in my kitchen i feel like i have nothing to eat like nothing to eat usually the starches and stuff is what keep you full i don't eat any starches so it's just like no macaroni, no rice, no mashed potatoes. I don't eat any of it, so it's not easy on me. And also, I wish I was like the people who I watch on YouTube. They're all like, well, I drink protein shakes all day, and then I drink water, then I have a yogurt, and then I'm fine. That was never me. Never, I never before surgery said, you know, I want a yogurt. All my cravings is still there. And then my stomach can't even take the protein shakes or the yogurt. The part of your stomach that digests sugar is gone. So my stomach reacts really bad to anything that's sweet. Even though it's natural sugars, anything sweet doesn't sit right with me. The only thing that's sweet that sit right is a fruit pop. Not a regular icy because I can't eat it. It has to be like a fruit pop. It's just like, son, I don't know. Catch me in a few months. How about that? Because right now, baby... I just cannot, I can't, I can't do it. And like, I even see a lot of people that's like two months out and they done lost 50 pounds and that's because they keep you in a calorie deficiency. So you're going under 1200 calories. You're literally consuming all liquids, soups, water, protein shakes. Any, I could have did that without this surgery. Just being honest. If I wanted to just do that, I could have just did it. Because guess what? My same mentality before surgery is here. The same mentality I had before surgery is here. So I could have did this without surgery. Now I got marks, my stomach hurt. Even if you try to do something to make you sick, that don't mean once it make you sick one time, you don't want to do it again because your body craves it all over again. It sucks. So right now, I don't know. Catch me in two, three months. I'll let you know again. But family, until next time, I'll see y'all later.